Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book Big Bang Disruption, a creation by Larry Downs and Paul Noons. In the book Big Bang Disruption, published in 2014, the author discusses the threat of disruptive innovations to contemporary businesses and offers strategies to sustain your own business in the face of these disruptions. The book outlines four stages of market disruption and presents 12 rules to successfully navigate them. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Larry Downs is an internet industry analyst who writes columns for both Forbes and CNET. His discussions focus on the impact of disruptive technology on policy and business. In addition to his contributions to these publications, he has authored other books such as Unleashing the Killer App, 1998, and The Laws of Disruption, 2009. Paul Nunes, on the other hand, works as the global head of research at the Accenture Institute for High Performance and serves as a senior editor at Outlook, which is Accenture's journal on leadership. He is also known as the author of Jumping the S-Curve, 2011. With seven key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book. On storyplane.net. To start, this text emphasizes the importance of equipping one's business to survive significant changes or challenges. It highlights the need to focus on personal gain or benefits in order to ensure the business's survival and success. The text explains the concept of Big Bang disruption in the business world. It compares the rapid and transformative nature of the Big Bang in the universe to how new companies disrupt markets. The text mentions the importance of understanding this process and provides information on the four-stage life cycle of disruption and the 12 rules of disruption survival. It also highlights the significance of seeking truth-tellers, the future of AOL, and the importance of not being overly concerned with strategy. Key idea number one, exponential technologies disrupt markets by offering affordable and high-quality products. The introduction of GPS systems caused a decline in sales for paper roadmaps. Garmin sold 3 million GPS devices in 2000, leading to a decrease in paper map sales. However, Garmin's devices were later overshadowed by the introduction of Google Maps in 2009. Google Maps became popular and successful because it was free, easy to update, and leveraged exponential technologies such as cloud-based computing. Google Maps is now the default app on smartphones and is used by millions of people daily. Key idea number two, Big Bang. Disruptors are characterized by undisciplined strategy, unconstrained growth, and unencumbered development. Identifying Big Bang disruptors can be done by looking for three key characteristics, undisciplined strategy, unconstrained growth, and unencumbered development. Exponential technologies allow disruptors to create cheap and superior products without the need for extensive research. The declining cost of information enables disruptors to use social media and online platforms for free advertising. Finally, with the declining cost of experimentation, disruptors can release products quickly and refine them based on user feedback. Key idea number three, Big Bang. Disruptors follow a four-stage life cycle. Singularity, Big Bang, Big Crunch, and Entropy. Big Bang disruptions follow a four-stage life cycle. Singularity, Big Bang, Big Crunch, and Entropy. Singularity is the period before the disruptor enters the market. Big Bang is the sudden success of the disruptor. Big Crunch is when the market becomes saturated and the disruptor's value tapers off. Entropy is when new opportunities arise from the assets of the disruptor. 12 Rules for Surviving A Big Bang disruption will be discussed in the remaining summarizer. Key idea number four. In the singularity stage, it is important to focus on truth-tellers, timing, and experimentation. When a company enters the singularity stage, the best defense is to play along and disrupt the market yourself. Follow three rules. Seek advice from experts in your industry, 
time your entry into emerging markets by observing competitors' failures and improving upon them, and conduct experiments to stay ahead of market disruptors. Examples include consulting with truth-tellers like Kevin Ashton, timing product launches like Jeff Bezos, and attending events like hackathons. Key idea number five. The text discusses the idea of catastrophic success and the need to be prepared for it during the Big Bang. It also mentions the concept of winner-take-all markets and suggests the creation of bullet time. The text explains three rules for surviving and thriving in a rapidly changing market after the Big Bang of disruption. The fourth rule is to be prepared with strategy, systems, inventory and resources. The fifth rule is to exploit information and create winner-take-all markets using specific data. The sixth rule is to slow down disruption by using patents to protect innovations and create temporary barriers for future disruptors. Key idea number six. The advice is to prepare for the big crunch, which refers to a difficult situation or crisis. This involves being aware of reaching saturation, making the most of your assets, and knowing when to quit to protect yourself. The text discusses the importance of anticipating and preparing for decline in the market disruption life cycle. It emphasizes the need to anticipate saturation and dispose of assets before they become worthless or impractical. It uses examples like Barnes & Noble's Nook e-reader and Philips' discontinued light bulb to illustrate the consequences of not following these rules. The text also mentions the option of outsourcing to cut back on assets and the possibility of getting out of business if unable to compete. Key idea number seven. In the entropy stage, it is important to avoid failure or black holes in your business. Instead, focus on reconfiguring your business and seeking new opportunities or singularities for your products or services. Surviving the entropy stage in the Big Bang disruption life cycle involves three rules. Avoiding black hole markets, repurposing old products for new purposes, and finding new singularity opportunities. Avoiding black holes means recognizing when a market is dying and finding new opportunities instead of trying to survive in a declining market. Repurposing old products, as Texas Instruments did, allows for new uses and opportunities in different markets. Finally, finding new singularity opportunities by investing in events like hackathons allows businesses to gain access to new ideas and innovations that can jumpstart the next phase of disruption. In conclusion, Big Bang disruptors are innovators who use exponential technologies to disrupt markets with cheaper and better product services. To survive, understand the life cycle and follow the 12 rules for Big Bang disruption. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.